So in the first part of this test, we're going to be taking a look at some different styles of music. Uh, it's all from art lists, so we have an electronic song, some hip-hop, and some rock music. So first we're going to take a look at the in-audio TV from the OLED 55CX, and afterwards we'll hook up the play bar and the Sonos Arc and see if there's any difference. Obviously it's a little bit difficult to show audio uh, via YouTube due to compression, due to recording equipment, and things like that. So let me just tell you a little bit about my process. I'm going to be recording with the Zoom H6 recorder and I did some tests with external mics and the built-in mic uh, and actually the built-in mic that I have strapped on there with the XY pattern is, uh, seems to be giving the best audio. So we'll be trying to normalize all the different sounds to about between minus 12 and minus 6 dB to try and get an accurate representation and a good comparison between the three. So here's the track list we're going to be using today for our test. Teenage Dream is an electronic song, Ocean is hip hop, Krampus and Full of Bricks are both indie rock songs. So we'll take a look. Let's get started by playing the track. Now it's on the iPhone. Switch it to the TV. Volume set to 20% right now. I have to say it is very, very loud. Personally, I wouldn't have it louder than this in an open space. All right, now let's connect the Sonos play bar and see if there's any difference. I'm going to normalize for that between minus 12 and minus 6 dB on the recorder to try and get the most even comparison. Normally these are the settings I use for the TV, so I have bass turned down, treble turned up a little, and loudness turned on. I find that this gives a well-rounded sound without having an overpowering bass that might uh, bother the neighbors. So now I'll set it for the test. I'll put it to the default settings, and we'll turn loudness off. Okay, the Sonos Arc is now connected to the TV via HDMI 2, because HDMI 2 is the uh, Arc port. So first I'm going to grab the Magic Remote, go into Sound Settings, and change the sound out to HDMI Arc. So one thing I noticed straight away is there's a lot more bass in the uh, Sonos Arc than the Sonos Play Bar. There's also a bit more space in the midsection, so it kind of it feels like there's more... Yes, yeah, space is the best way to put it, so you kind of get a surround sound effect and a little bit more separation between the sounds. I'm not sure if I would necessarily call it better, because the Sonos Play Bar does provide a very full-bodied sound, uh, but this provides a little bit more separation, so I guess the definition is a little bit higher. All around, it does sound very, very good though. So let's take a look at another two songs. We'll take a look at the hip hop track and one of the indie rock tracks. I'll be cycling through the three different devices so that you can get a good feel for what the difference in sound is and difference in sound environment, soundscape. Uh, I think that's the best way to do a proper comparison and then afterwards I'll give you my opinions. I got a pipe down, need it right now. Lately, I've been going 
saw the lights out Got my face up and my eyes down Shorty, now you know what this is like now Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a way, we been chilling by the ocean Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Perfect sky 